Man, do y'all know what today is? Do y'all know what today is? That's right. October 31st. It's Halloween. Get, get this out. Gotta dress up for the mood. Yes. Point it up. Point it up. Erect it. Erect it. What's going on, Chill Army? Dion's Rock 7 here. And today, we're going to be doing a reboot, sort of. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't know, really know what this is called, but it's called DH7 Horror Nights. Now, this is how it goes. Y'all y'all familiar with, like, Corey X. Kenshin, right, with his Spooky Scary Sundays? Well, every now and then, I'm going to do a DeAndre, DH7 Horror Nights. Basically, I get three videos, and I, I just react to them all, you know? I, I'm trying to get spooked. I'm trying to get goosebumps. I'm trying to run. <laughs> also, can't start a reaction without your snacks. I got three of these. I got... Baby Bell, mini Baby Bell mozzarella. I got five Oreos on deck. And of course, I got Chester's fries. I ate some, I ate some like a few days ago, but I'm gonna eat the rest because you know, it, it, look at this bag. There's like practically any in here. I, I, I have all these snacks and I'm wondering why I'm overweight. All right, y'all, this, this first video is called The Mannequin Short Horror Film by Levi Morgan. Make sure you guys go um check out his channel. Uh, this video was sent to me by my good friend Sakaki. So, uh, Sakaki, if you're watching, have yourself some cheese. When you're watching a scary video, rule number one, turn that all the way up. Ooh, it kind of hit hard, though. Let me... It's a mannequin. I know it's a mannequin, man, but why do you have it? And why did you interrupt my Netflix watching to bring me over here to see this? I found her by the dumpster. What are you watching on Netflix? I've seen on Craigslist recently that full See, that's when that's when that's your first that's your first that's your first step wrong. Why are you friends with this dude? Like out of all the hobbies, you could have collected bottle caps, you could have collected Pokemon cards, you could you collect mannequins. Nice mannequins such as her get sold for three to four hundred dollars easily. Okay, so you sell a mannequin mm -hmm. and then maybe you can afford to get your own Netflix account? Once again, I do appreciate you sending Ooh. me this Netflix login. No problem, man. I'm gonna get back to it. What the heck is he doing? Oh, you put a cover over it. Good idea. Oh, wait, wait. Uh oh. Ooh. It could have slipped off. It could have slipped off. It could have slipped off. This is kind of good, the ambiance and stuff. I hear it in my ear. Someone's coming up. I, mm-mm. See? Hold up. Uh-uh. Heck no. I'm trying to eat my cheese in peace. Look. No, 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 no. You don't just peek over the door brushing your teeth. Us black people, what we would have done is... As here, as soon as we hear a do do do, man, I'm hopping out the second story window. I don't care if I break a few legs. I'm getting out the house. I'm not gonna inspect. I am not inspecting. Mm mm. Mm -mm. The minute you see that, the minute you see that, and you know you set it up correctly, you don't ask questions. You know you set it up correctly. Why is the arm suddenly broken off? See, that's your. That's my cue to leave. That's my cue to leave. Now this is kind of good. This is kind of good, Levi. Don't inspect it. Look at it. 
Bro, it's looking into your soul. It don't even got eyes. Why are you carrying the arm? Man, I should. I should slap you right now. And I'm not just telling him. I'm telling all y'all right now. If you know you are the only one home, and you hear and you hear eh, eh, as if someone had, as if, as if it's someone's footsteps, leave. No, 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 go back. If you see that it's on the staircase and you know for a fact that it was on the table resting up last time, that's when you know something is up. You idiot. Look, they can teleport. They can tell, that thing has instant transmission. That thing's faster than Goku. Look at that. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. How do you trip over a bag? Look at him. That's your running speed? That's your running speed? No! Look, y'all. I may be big, I may be thick, but let me tell y'all, scared me? Bro, I'm out. I am out. Y'all have not seen scared me run yet. Y'all have not seen scared me run yet. I am running, I am out of there. I am out of there. I'm going into survival mode. I'm quickly grabbing the keys. I'm quickly bolting out of there and I'm driving away. I'm not even gonna, no, I'm not even gonna wait for my car to step up. The minute I hear that, I'm driving away. Actually, that was a smart move. That was a smart move. Make sure it's down. But remember, this thing can move like at the speed of light. So you screwed anyway. Now you dead. You're dead. Oh no. He set his friend up, yo. He set his friend up, yo. Throw your, throw your garbage into the dumpster and leave. That's what a normal, that's what a normal person would do. But no, you're gonna be stupid and be inquisitive. We don't got time for inquisitiveness! Wrong move. He said, no, what I would have done is I would have thrown my trash and then slowly backed out. A couple hundred bucks on Craigslist, huh? He did. That was good, though. That was good, though. I like that. I like that. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Let me click that bell icon, too. Make sure I go sub to uh, Levi Morgan. That was good. That was good. Good suggestion, uh, Sakaki. If you're if you're still watching this. All right, y'all. This last one was also sent by Anika. It's called 
uh, The Woman Animated, and it's by Llama Arts. I'm already subscribed to them, of course. Got to show my support. I've seen a couple of their videos. I reacted to a lot of their videos in my older episodes of D of DH7 Horror Nights. So, uh, yeah, and they hit. Oh, there are two mil. There are two million. Two two thousand uh two thousand fifty two million, okay y'all y'all go subscribe to them though because they're really good. Uh, I'm never I've never seen the woman animated so let's see if it's good. Lamarch usually gives me the hubbity jibbities so let, let's see. <clears throat> it was a late moonless snowy night. I heard the chilling cry of a bobcat as I arrived home from my parents' house, where we had just had Thanksgiving dinner in northern Michigan. Exhausted, I had finally made it to my bed when my pregnant girlfriend asked for nacho cheese munchies. Reluctantly, I laced up my boots and went to my car. Due to the cold, it took me a while to start the car, which only made me more irritated. But eventually, I got it started. And I arrived at the convenience store, store that? to retrieve my girlfriend's mandated snacks. As I left oh, that's the store, a, that's like the gas walking station. back towards my car, I saw a shadow of that? movement out of the corner. Y'all saw store, that? Y'all saw that? What back is that? My girlfriend's mandated no, snacks. no, no, you can't just. As I left the store, walking back Whoa. towards my car, I saw a shadow of movement out of the corner of my eye. What looked like a person stood near the dumpster, just out of the light. I, didn't I stepped look like towards a the figure, and she looked at me with a giant, sinister smile. Her face was so weathered, it looked like... See, your first... That's when you... Look. The minute you see something run across the dumpster, you quickly walk to your car, drive off. Why would you go and inspect? You run. You don't inspect? Man, these people don't know survival instincts for the life. She had cracks all over her face. She was crouched down and appeared to be chewing on something. I looked to see what she was chewing on. Why are you why are you staring at her? Run! To my surprise, it was a severed arm. It looked old, as if it had been rotting for weeks. I saw her glance at something in her pocket. I could see the outline of what looked like a pocket knife. As soon as I looked back up, she quickly charged me. I so it's that type of game, huh? Well, let me let me let me let me tell you, let me let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you. Threw away and then ran back to the convenience store. I burst Bro, we through only the door a minute and in? frantically yelled towards the cashier to call the police as I turned to lock it. He asked me. What's going on? I scowled at him and said, Please, just call the cops. I looked back outside and saw the woman had moved across the street and was still scrutinizing Eggs me as no. she maintained her malevolent grin. Look, look at look, him. there's a girl I mean, out there who's trying to kill me. Looking over me, he replied, I don't see anyone. Okay, either he encountered a ghost or he crazy. Those words shook me, even to this day. Well, when the police reached the gas station, he crazy. they began looking around for the woman while He's one of the crazy, officers asked me what had happened, and I told him the details of the encounter. He crazy. One of the officers came back and said he couldn't find anything. I then took them back to where I first noticed her. We spent a few minutes intently mm -hmm. searching, but there was no proof I'm she was ever even there. I'm the officer cocked I'm his head and looked at me as if I was deranged <clears throat> and asked me in a judgmental tone. Are you feeling okay? He's I was crazy. About to defend myself, and then I started <clears throat> to think. I am tired, and I have had a couple of drinks, so I just told him. He's crazy. Yes, sir. No, he's Sorry crazy. Sorry for bothering you. I hope you have a nice night. And then I drove home. I got home at around four o'clock in the morning. My girlfriend greeted me with an angered but concerning tone of voice. She asked me, "Where were you? Are you okay?" So I told her everything that happened. Of course, she didn't believe me. I couldn't get to sleep that She'd be night. Crazy. I sat in my bed questioning <clears throat> my sanity, wondering if it What if he doesn't have a girl? What if he doesn't have a pregnant girlfriend? What if he was just crazy this was whole all time? Real. Am I crazy? 
Maybe I'm just tired. Yo, this is kind of intriguing. But no, that can't be it. I, I saw it. But if I saw it, why was there no proof? Or was Where it a ghost? Go? Where did she go? Before I knew it, it was seven in the morning, and I had to go to work. I threw on my jacket as I was about to head to the construction site, and I put my hand in my pocket and noticed that there was a hole in it. It wasn't there the other day. I thought, what if she caught my jacket as I ran? Which further proves my suspicion that she was real. I couldn't believe it. My mind completely went wild until my girlfriend kissed me goodbye. I told my friends at work what had happened and they didn't believe me either. They made jokes about it the entire day, but I had my bowling tournament that day so that Yo, gave me something <clears throat> to look forward Sorry, I'm quiet. Yo, this is kind of intriguing. I got home and hung my vest and jacket up and rapidly put on my bowling shoes and got my bowling ball. Bowling. My girlfriend oh, looked at me she, with a pleasant she be smile at the bowling alley. and said, when will you be back? Probably around 11. <laughs> don't be long. I won't. Don't worry. At around 10.30, the tournament had finally finished, and we had won. I was so thrilled I had forgotten about the woman. Y'all already know. As we were leaving, Y'all already know. something at the other end of the parking lot. It was that psychotic yeah, woman. We stared at each other for what felt like an eternity. She slowly started moving towards me. If she slowly started waving towards you, why didn't you go to your car? Juke her or something. It's not that hard. Your nair and making cuts. I quickly jumped Man. into my car and turned it on. Man. As I looked up, I saw she was standing in front of me. Man, I would just run her over. I don't care. I don't care if the cops pull me. I would run her over. Mm -mm. Staring at me. She slowly you walked crazy over to my window, stay behind. and she said in a quiet, Drive! Deep, and scratchy voice, Little pig! Little pig! Little pig? Oh, man, mm -mm, you gotta go. See this? This is gonna be you. And I'ma let you bleed out. <laughs> let me in! I was frozen no, in what? fear, but I snapped back to reality when she banged on the roof of my car, screaming. How did she I get on the roof? I slammed my foot on the accelerator and didn't let off it until I couldn't see her anymore. When I arrived home, I told my girlfriend what had happened. Like last time, she didn't believe me. I really thought I was Crazy. insane, but I tried to forget about it and get some sleep. Later that Either night, it's a ghost or I woke he's up crazy. and saw her in my room. All she said was let me in, over and over. As she got closer, she then started shouting. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Let me in! Come on, Paul. Stop being difficult. Let what? me in! I was wondering how in the world my girlfriend okay, had heard this going on. <clears throat> the woman was right next to me and held up a knife to me. That's when I Ooh. fainted. I woke startled in my room dripping with sweat. Then I remembered I don't have a girlfriend, nor a house, or a family. I knew it, he was crazy! Come on, Paul. Time for your morning meds. Let me in. Okay, that was a twist. I knew it, he was crazy! I, was, I thought it was maybe a ghost, but no, he's crazy. Okay, he's in like a... He's in like a psychiatric hospital or whatever. Like, yo, that was okay. Okay, you're not as good as the mannequin. Actually, no, no, no. This is better than the mannequin. I like the twist. I like the twist. That, yo, that was good, Anika. That, that was a good one. Thanks, thanks for sending me that. That was good. That was good. Of course, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys smack, it, smack that like button and also comment down below. Um, guys, if you guys want me to react to anything else, uh, comment down below. And also, subscribe where I do live shiny reactions. I do a lot of Pokemon content, but I'm not afraid to do a reaction every now and then. I figured, you know, uh, I miss doing these. So, you know, I decided to just bring them back. So, yeah. Also, I do have a Patreon description down below. Um, 
it's pretty optional. It's optional. You don't have to join it. But if you guys want to support the channel even more, I would really appreciate it. And also, uh, I do have a Discord server for uh, for battling and trading in Pokemon or just to chat with Chill Army. Uh, it's in the description down below as well. And also, uh, my social links as well, my Twitter and Instagram. Uh, those are in the description down below as well. I usually post updates to the channel, uh, memes, thoughts, and stuff like that. You can even send me video requests through there. Um, and that's basically it. So hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Halloween! Only good, Joe Army.